I am currently in Chicago, but in just a bit, I'm heading up to Evanston and heading up to Northwestern University to watch another college soccer game between Northwestern Wildcats versus Indiana Hoosiers. Now, we're winding down to the end of the college soccer season, and this is definitely a pivotal match in the Big Ten Conference, with both of these teams still trying to get to the top spot of the Big Ten standings in college soccer. In fact, the standings is relatively tight. Uh, coming into this game, Indiana is currently in third place. They currently have a 3-2-1 and one conference record, and their overall record is 7-4-3, and three. whereas for Northwestern Wildcats, they're currently in fourth place with a 3 Three, one and two record and their overall record is nine three and two now despite the fact that northwestern is below indiana in terms of the standings uh northwestern is actually ranked in the college soccer ranking they're ranked number 21 but they have fell down a little bit and that's due to the fact that they have lost two in a row whereas for indiana they have been red hot right now they have won four in a row they have really charged up in terms of the standings of the Big Ten. So, yeah, even though the team that is ranking in this one, you would think that they are the favorites, but in terms of foreign itself, you would say that the visitor would be the favorites. But, yeah, this should be a very interesting matchup. And, again, with the season uh, running down, this is a pivotal matchup for both of these teams to try and get a win so that they can chase down uh, the top spot of the Big Ten Conference in college soccer. So, yeah, let's see how this game is going to turn out. Let's go soccer! So we have just arrived here in Northwestern University and over there on the distant is downtown Chicago there and here in Lake Michigan. Now I believe the stadium is actually right next to the lake. That's why I made my way to the Lakeshore Walk here. I think the stadium is somewhere over there. So I think I've just made my way to the stadium. Well, actually I'm still need to find the entrance right now. As you can see, that's the venue where the game is going to be taking place behind these trees. And I believe when I look on Google map, the entrance is all the way on the other side. So I'm going to go there, get my ticket, and basically go inside to watch tonight's match. Just my my way inside the stadium and as you can see both teams are doing their pre-game warm-up. I believe these are the Indiana Hoosier player doing their pre-game warm-up and over there on the far side are the Northwestern Wildcat player doing their pre-game warm-up. And by the way, as I mentioned, this stadium is actually right next to the lake, but you wouldn't have noticed this because they kind of blocked off the view of the lake uh, with these trees here. I mean, it didn't really matter because it is nighttime and you can't really see the lake very well. And she's over there somewhere there in this it is downtown Chicago. And now it looks like both team is heading to the center circle. In just a bit, we're going to get ready for the start of this match between Northwestern Wildcats and Indiana Hoosier. side which has been their favorite side and what a ball this is and again it's blocked away second effort though is right to the keeper so once again Indiana works this one here on the right and it is gonna be fly as well that was another glorious opening there for the Hoosiers and well I'll tell you what Indiana it's gonna go down not only a missed opportunity but a really bad miss I mean not only he didn't put that one on target it looked like it was closer to be coming to a throw-in rather than actually being on target. It's this on the left side. So here comes Indiana again, looking for the cutback, and instead the keeper is able to cling to that one. Not sure if it might have even took a deflection. Also, a double up as a lacrosse pitch, so this could sometimes be a little confusing as oh that one. Well, that did not miss by much as. Tell you what, when he striked that, I didn't think that that was going to come anywhere near goal, but just whistle over the bar there. So we play halfway here in the first half, and it's still scoreless between Indiana Hoosier and Northwestern Wildcats. And so far, I would say Indiana has been the better team. I mean, they had most of the possession and been pretty much dictating the plays, though. That being said, just a couple of minutes ago, Northwestern came very close of getting the opening goal. I mean, one of the players basically hits it off balance off his back foot and i have no idea how he was able to still generate so much power that it just went under the bar but still we got 22 minutes left here in the first half and we'll see whether or not we're going to see a goal here in the opening first half but he's in the box ready for this throw in it's head of the way and we'll do it again here on this near side
looped it in, and it's in! It's 1-0 Northwestern! Well, the second time they tried to throw that ball into the box, it worked out well, but definitely some questionable defending there from Indiana. And again, you know how I feel whenever someone score coming off the throw and you gotta push in the defending there. Three, Countdown is off six, here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And that is the end of the first half. It's halftime here at Northwestern University. It's the host Northwestern Wildcats for a one nothing lead over Indiana Hoosiers. So it's halftime here at Northwestern University. It's the Wildcats with a one nothing lead over Indiana Hoosiers. And quick fact that Indiana was the better team for the first 20 minutes. They created a couple of half chances or so. The Wildcats were able to score kind of against the run of play, though, again, looking back at that goal that Indiana conceded, they will definitely not be happy about that. I mean, the fact that it came off of a throw-in and there was like four Hoosier players around that goal score there and wasn't able to get it, that is just criminal defending there uh, in a Hoosier perspective. But in a Northwestern perspective, I mean, you know, they haven't been playing that well here in this game, but they got that goal uh, in the first half, and that's kind of what matters, and that on the defensive side, they have been very solid. I mean, they've been really shutting down this Indiana team, though, you know, the Hoosiers, you got to say that they have to be better in the final third. I mean, really, ever since they conceded that opening goal, they just have been really poor in the final third, aren't able to create too much chances to test the Wildcats goalkeeper. But we'll see whether or not if that will change heading into the second half. I think it's still all to play for here in the second half. It's pretty clear why both of these teams are in near each other in the Big Ten standings. I think this is going to be still be a very closely contested second half, and we'll see how the second half is going to go. And then it looks like the Indian Hoosier player are back on the pitch. Uh, the Northwestern player is still doing their pre second half warm ups, but in just a bit they're going to be back on the pitch too. In fact, as I said, that here they come back on the pitch. Into third position. So all comes into the box and looks like you know, two players going for the same ball and in fact referee is going to stop the play and stop the clock. By the way, I just realized that we actually have another scoreboard of this game which is all the way down there and I think that's kind of a practice field for the Northwestern football team. It's kind of weird to see the scoreboard being up despite the fact that that's indicating the practice field and not the soccer field, or unless that's basically the alternative scoreboard because they have one right here as well. And it's a decent one, and well, actually it hits the side netting. There comes Indiana again on this left side. Another hopeful cross comes in, and again, it's cleared away, but that's a poor giveaway there, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was a bit of a selfish effort there. He didn't had to shoot there. And now some space here on this left. Oh, look at that. And well, keeper, he did just enough to palm that one away. As that player just putting on the moves here. Stand now he's going to cross it in, dinked it into the box. And well, that one actually didn't miss by much, but it looked like that was always going to go wide. All of that here. In the second half and in this game, as the ball whipped in into the box, and this one is going to be over the bar. So we got 22 minutes left in this game, and it's still one nothing in favor of Northwestern. But Indiana really has started to ramp up the pressure in the last 10 minutes. They've really started to work on the flank here on this left side, and have created some half chances. But the problem for Indiana here so far, at least throughout this game, is they just have not been good enough in the final third. I mean, the final third play has just been poor from them and that if they want to give themselves the equalizer and maybe create some more decent opportunity and even force the Northwestern goalkeeper to make a save because even though he has free save in this game, those free saves have been relatively comfortable. They have to be better in terms of the final third. So let's see whether they can do so or will Northwestern potentially survive and get a massive one nothing win here tonight. Here's the corner, it's toward the back poles and that is going to be out for a goal kick as they only take one good ball and as I said that, here is that good ball from Indiana and again another blocked here by that Northwestern defense and 
And that's been the story of the night. That, this Northwestern defense, they have laid their bodies on their line. Corner being taken in. It's toward the back poles, and that's going to be over the bar. That was only the fourth shot for Northwestern tonight. 15 seconds. Hoosiers got to go here. They're running out of time. The countdown is on as the ball comes in. It's headed away. One last opportunity. And it's going to flick behind. And that is the full-time whistle. Full-time here at Northwestern University. And the Wildcats survive in this game thanks to a stellar defensive display. So it's just finished here at Northwestern University. And by the way, in the background, that is downtown Chicago there. And I thought this would be a perfect place for me to do the review with the view of Lake Michigan in the background and also downtown Chicago. But yeah, in the end, it was Northwestern University with a one nothing win over Indiana Hoosier. And I got to say, this was probably one of the best defensive display I've seen a team able to put in the Sports Hop series. I mean, despite the fact that the Hoosier, they put a lot of pressure late, especially in the last 20 minutes and that the Wildcats kind of decided to park the bus a little bit. Uh, the Wildcats throughout this entire 90 minutes, they were excellent on the defensive end. I mean, they were cutting down those passing lanes and they were also not afraid to lay a body to block those shots. I mean, Indiana had like 18 shots in this game and I think half of them was actually blocked shot because of the way that the Wildcats de defense just not afraid to basically lay their body on the, the line to block those shots. But yeah, still, you know, it's a big win here for the Wildcats and, you know, for Indiana again. The old saying goes, you know, it's not about how many shots you have. It's not about how you dominate. It's about finishing uh, and also scoring the, the goal and putting the, the goals on the scoreboard. And they just did not do that in this game. And also, I mentioned before, they were very poor in the final during this game. But a lot of that has to do with the fact that Northwestern defended very well throughout this game. But yeah, either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys see a like, smash the subscribe button. And yeah, I, of course, will see you guys next time with another Sports Hop Series episode.